Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you a quick overview on my cafe management system project. For frontend, I'm using Angular Material. For backend, I'm using Node.js. And database, I'm using MySQL. So let's start with that. Basically, this application having two modules. First one is for admin module and another one is for user module. So user have to first register with this application and they can then, they have to wait for admin approval, then only they can log in, okay? So let me show you all these things and we will move forward with the other parts also. So first we have to move to the sign up page. So here you can see when we click on that button, a model or dialogue has been opened. So we have to fill all these details and the sign up button will get enabled and we are also validating the contact number or email address, all these fields actually. So let me write here the name first, BTIC, BTIC days. And after that we have to enter the contact number. So contact number length should be 10 digit. So if we exceed the limit or like more than 10 digits or less than 10 digits, so it will give us error. Let me show you. So it's 10 digit and right now it's 11. I'm moving to another field. You can see this field is invalid. We are getting that message. Let me remove one and let me move to the email one. And here you can see that error get removed. So now we have to write the email address. So here I'm going to just writing a temporary email address. So btic days at the rate mailinator.com and after that we have to enter the password so once i enter the password then sign up button will get enabled so let me show you one two three four five six you can see sign up button is enabled right now so let me click on sign up so you can see a loader has been pop up and a message has been visible okay so successfully registered we are able to successfully register okay so now we will move to the forget password page of this application so here we just need to enter the email address in order to receive the user id or sorry email address and the password of application so let me write here correct email address mailinator.com and let me send the password so let me password send successfully to your email address so let me check it out that actually we received or not here you can see we got a email password by cafe management system project let me move a little bit down and here you can see your login credentials for cafe management system project here you can see the email address and as well as you can see the password and here we are also getting option click here to login so i'm going to click on it you can see a new tab has been opened and it will redirect us to login page so it's work like that we can use this credentials to login with that okay let me move back over here and let me try with that credentials so btic days days at the rate mailinator.com i'm going to try write the password one two three four five six i'm trying to log in so it need to be give the error you can see wait for admin approval because this uh, like this one is does not get approval till now right so that's the reason it's like giving us error so let me try with uh, admin credentials add gmail.com and the password is admin let me click on login okay you can see we are able to successfully log in right you can see the controls here like you can see the total categories total product total bills this one is a dashboard page actually you can see here the controls but before moving to all these controls first i want to show you the best part of this application is related to security okay so let me open the inspect part of this application and here you can see this is and one more thing I want to tell you this is a complete responsive application so it will uh, respond according to your screen size okay uh, so here you can see like uh, after login the first thing is we receive a token actually that token is going to store in our local storage of application so here you can see that token basically token uh, is used to authenticate the users okay so basically we are using JWT token here so let me search the JWT token and let me show you. We are going to paste that token and we can see the data inside that token actually. Okay, here you can see the payload of that token actually. So here you can see the email address, role of that user for you can see when the token has been created, when the expiry of that token, all these details you can see. That was stored over here. So whenever we hit any API of the backend, then this token we are going to pass in the header so that every call of the API in the backend, we are going to verify this token. 
let's say someone made any changes in this token then we are going to like uh, like give 401 unauthorized to the front end so that in the front end we are going to log that, log that out that user okay so let me show you those things actually so let me I, i'm going to try to change in email address let's say the payload you can see the token is also get changed okay so i'm going to change this token i'm going to paste it over here i'm going to press it and after that i'm going to uh, refresh this page actually so when i refresh this page something went wrong we get pop-up message please try again later okay and after that the token local storage also get hit, hit, removed and we redirect it to login page okay so if we made any changes in the token it will directly going to find it because in the back end we are decrypting that token and we are going to get to know that uh, okay this is not a uh, token does not provided by us that's why it's giving us error okay so let me log in it again and here we are again again you can see we got a token here and uh, let me show you one few more things let me go to the network tab let me clean this activity and let me move to the category so whenever we hit any api you can see a get api has been called and we are, you can see the preview data but in the header if you, if you move little bit down we are sending the token right we are a token this token here you can see that token right so every time we have to send this token in order to like uh, do any modification in database or any view any data okay so every time this tokens is required and we are even we are also in the back end we are checking that for every api we are checking that this user is valid to uh, like do the changes or not if not then we are going to uh, like send 401 uh, um, like code actually it means that unauthorized and it will make it as logout from that application so this type of security features we are following over here let me close this uh, tab actually and uh, let me move back over here in the dashboard page and here you can see total category we have right now is 5 we have total product actually 18 and total bills you can see 5 if you want to navigate from here we can also do that let me click on it you can see we moved over here so this is our category part here we can manage the category so let me add a new category over here so here i'm going to write cupcakes and i'm going to write add and you can see category added successfully we got a pop-up message and here we have also a filter so if you want to search anything you just need to write that you can see we are able to search it so let's say we want to do any changes in cupcakes name so i'm going to write here cupcake and going to update it you can see that get updated let me make it cupcakes and update it okay so in this way actually we are managing this uh, all these things actually are uh, related to category let me move to the another one manage product and you can see in the pop-up loader is visible whenever the page load that uh, like uh, loader is visible and it get hide when page is ready to choose okay so after that you man uh, like manage category we have manage product so let me click on add product and here we have to enter the product name so lemon cupcake here i'm going to write cake and here we are going to write the price i'm going to write 500 and here we have to select the category so i'm going to select the this one and here we just need to write here cup cake description and here i'm going to click on add you can see product added successfully when i move little bit down here i can see that product actually lemon cupcake here you can see description okay let's say we want to edit something we just need to click on edit this part let's say i want to write one here i want to write one and here we just want to write one we want to make it as a coffee then we just need to click on update product updated successfully actually we got this message so let me click on edit and let me delete actually this one let me make a move that uh, remove these things and let me update it okay so it's a res completely responsive application actually okay so now if i want to delete this product we just need to click on delete and we got a confirmation pop-up are you sure you want to delete lemon cupcake product so if you click on no it will no not going to do anything if you want to delete it you just need to click on yes so you can see product deleted successfully we get a pop-up message and in the last you can see we have right a activate or deactivate product option 
so basically this one is used to activate or deactivate the product like uh, it will not visible in order page actually so uh, we, will do, uh, we will show this one is later actually so let me move to the manage product actually right now so this is the uh, like uh, main part of this application so here we are going to generate the bills for customers and first we need to get the some details like customer name so uh, btic days after that we have to write the email address so btic days dot care at the rate gmail dot com after that we have to enter the contact number so i'm going to write the contact number so everything we are validating it and every field of this application so here we are also doing that and here the button is reserved right so we need to select that so we are going to select the cupcakes till now we don't have any products so it will not anything is visible over there so let me select donuts and you can see we are getting four options so let me click on it you can see we have uh, like total let me increase the quantity to make it as 10 let me click on add you can see product added successfully when i try to add it again in that case we will get a black pop-up message with pr product already exist message actually so you can see the color of this pop-up is also get changed according to error or it is correct then it will show the background is black uh, sorry green actually so if you want to delete it and if you want to change in this one so we have to write 8 so in this way it will work actually so let me add few more products so let me add this okay and let me add few more products let's see add t so black t going to add sick nine going to add it let's say now everything is up right let me submit it and get the bill actually so when we click on it it will hit the apn and we have to a loader is visible right and when started downloading the bill then loader get hide so let me click on it you can see a pop-up like uh, the bill you can see right now so you can see the ca cafe management system name you can see the name bill trade email address you can see the contact number you can see payment method you can see the product details you can see the which product we he purchase or he or she purchase actually and you can see the total amount they paid for us okay so in this way we are managing the bills so one more thing i need to show you like uh, let me uh, like deactivate all the products related to donuts so i'm going to deactivate all the product of this one okay so i'm going to deactivate and i'm going back to the manage order so i'm going to select donuts and i'm going to select this one so no product is visible that's why we are not able to see any of the products okay so in this way we are managing this one so let me activate one so one product will be visible over here so let me show you donuts and let me show you you can see we have one active product over here so in this way we are managing uh, that activate and deactivate product okay so this is all about manage product part of uh, this application let me move to the view will okay so here you can see we have a uh, view will options so if you want to search anything you can search it from here like if you want to search btic days dot here you can see you can search it by uh, name you can name email contact number payment better total you can search it by all any of this okay so if you want to see the bill of this application like uh, this user right now we created we just need to click on this view you can see that in this pop-up also you can see the same thing almost here and when you want to download the pdf again or other user pdf you just need to click on this button so it will actually download the pdf for you if you want to download other pdf you just need to click on it you can see it getting started downloading so one by one if you want to download all the pdf you can download it if you want to delete any user okay sorry any bill so you just need to click on that or you should you want to delete the btic days bill i'm going to click on yes so it will delete that product actually sorry bill actually okay so in this way we are viewing the bills and all okay after that we have manage user part so let me open it and here you can see the list of the user we have so this user has been registered right now so let me activate this actually okay so now this user will able to log into our application so let me log it out and uh, let me show you that one so let me log it out and now i'm going to write btec days at the rate millimeter.com and the correct password is one two three four five six i'm going to write seven so it will show us incorrect username and password 
so i'm going to delete one okay and i'm going to try to log in okay i think i deleted two times okay one second we take days one two three four five six i think this one is the correct password okay here we miss yes so let me write here we take these at the rate millinator.com let me click on login you can see we are able to successfully log in actually so here you can see these options but when you try to access it you are not authorized person to access this url because this url having like we also in the front end also we set the routes okay restrictions to user this is a user this url is not accessible by normal user so only admin can access this urls okay that's the reason he getting the that message when we click on view bill so he can see that so he will navigate to that page let's say if the in user remove this one and just press localhost 42000 so it will redirect to this page dashboard page actually let's say if this user close this application browser actually okay and when you open the browser read again and write localhost 42000 so it will redirect us to dashboard page here you can see because we have the token stored in our local storage so that going to take take that token and going to check that it is valid or not if it is valid so it will redirect to dashboard page if it is not valid then in that case it will clear the local storage and will stay at the login page so this type of features we added in this application so this is like normal users also having the same functionality like manage order view bills this functionality will be same for this one also but they cannot uh, like edit the product categories or cannot uh, activate or deactivate user if you try to access any other url let me show you the same message you will get i'm trying to access the product you can see you are not authorized person to access this page and it will redirect to dashboard page okay so before uh, beyond this one we also have one more option that one is change password so let me click on this if you want to change the password so you have to first you enter the old correct password so i am going to write one two three four five and after that we have to enter here a password so i'm going to write here admin and in the confirm password we also need to enter the correct actually matching password to the new password so i'm going to write only admin uh, m is missing that's why it's showing new password and confirm password does not match if i write m okay one second admin you can see uh, update button is enabled so let me click on update in correct old password so it able to like give the exact error what we are expecting so let me write here six and let me try to update password su updated successfully we get the pop-up message okay so in this way like uh, uh, we are able to change the password let me show you one more thing about this application let's say if this user let me go to the JWT token and let me copy this token and let me make it as admin actually and if it get admin and still you want to access any other resource it, it will again it will going to redirect to login page so let me show you this one is a user right so when i make it as admin and if i try to change over here and if i try to access this manage order you can see something went wrong redirect to login page okay so in this way we are actually handling our security and all and in this page i also added few more fee like uh parts of this one at home page this is just a static part of this application okay so this is all about our cafe management system project i hope you guys like this video if you want to purchase you can contact us on instagram as well as on email address okay and uh, in upcoming videos i'm going to create all these things in a step by step so stay tuned with us please hit like and subscribe on our channel thank you so much